here with Karen Sawyer, who's from Boy Scout Troop 702. Welcome, Karen. Thank you. Thank you for uh, having me tonight and inviting the troop to uh, be represented here at Organization Night. Uh, we've heard it's a special year for Troop 702. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Oh, absolutely. And I'm going to go for my notes because I want to get it all correct. But um, <laughs> oh yeah, it's our 100th anniversary. So uh, we've been in continuous operation since 1915. And, uh, and the Old South uh, United Methodist Church right here in, on, on the town common has been our uh, charter organization organization since the very first day. That's great. And do you know what, what the exact date of the of the charter and the, the first day that the uh, the troop was? Yeah, actually, actually, we do. Uh, it's May, actually, uh, May 14th, 1915 was the very first troop meeting. So that's tomorrow. And that's tomorrow. <laughs> yep. And, uh, and November 15th, 1915 is the official charter day with the Boy Scouts of America. Great. So, so was troops 702 the first troop in Reading then? No, actually, well, actually we were troop two. And so that means that probably there was probably a troop one. And, and with the research we've been doing over the past year, that troop one, uh, there was a troop one, and but then after about 1916, there's not a lot of references to troop one. So it probably disbanded shortly thereafter. But uh, but it was originally troop two, and it began in and, uh, late four, 1914. And, but a lot of troops came right after that because it was a very, po scouting was very popular, not just here, but worldwide, but in the United States as well. So a lot of troops uh, started right after Troop 2, and so there were um, a, lot of, a lot of troops shortly thereafter. So how many how many troops are we looking at now? What's what's that number look like? Well, we've got three right now. There's us as 702 out of the Old South uh, Methodist Church. There's also Troop 704 at the Congregational Church, and also Troop 728 at Saint Agnes Church. So there are three currently, but our research has shown uh, over at one time, like back in the mid 20th century, there were as many as 14 troops in wow. Reading. And in fact, at one point, um, probably early in the early 20th century, Reading was its own district. So it had a lot, wow. of, a lot of kids. Probably 50% of the boys in town were involved in either Boy Scouts or Cub Scouts. That's great. So yeah, very so involved. So what kind of events are you sponsoring this year to celebrate this milestone? Well, we began on. Well, we're going to celebrate the whole year, to, all throughout. Lots of lots of little different uh, events we're going to be doing. But we started on February 8th on Scout it was Scout Sunday nationwide. So we started on February 8th, and uh, Old South's Reverend Jan Smith Rushton did a, a lovely service and made it possible for Scouts to play a variety of roles in the service, which is really lovely. We also hosted uh, fellowship, like pancakes and bacon fellowship after in the vestry, and it was one of those really snowy weekends. <laughs> So, one of them. One of the right, right. Right. <laughs> so I forget which one. I lost count. I'm not sure which one it was, but a lot of people braved the the snow and the cold weather to come out for uh, for Scout Sunday, which was a, we were all really touched by that. So, so that was a lot of fun. And then in April, mid-April, we had a townwide sponsored a townwide camporee at the council ring in the town forest, and we had uh, you know Girl Scouts, Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts. They were all invited, and we uh, camped out, and there were all kinds of fun scouting activities to do. And, uh, and a highlight of it was uh, Cub Scout Pack 702, also through Old South. They had their crossing over ceremony where the, um, they get their Arrow of Light Award, and they cross over from, boys, uh, from Cub Scouts to Boy Scouts. So 15 boys crossed over into Boy Scouts, into Troop 702 that evening, which was a, which was a great, wonderful thing. It was all very exciting. But another thing that we do traditionally is the annual um, silent night hike in honor of our Scoutmaster Emeritus Benjamin Nichols, who had uh, passed away in uh, 2009 at age 101. He was a scouter for over 60 years. Wow. And, we, and we, it's a mile, we, a mile long trail, there's about 40 of us at night, no flashlights, totally silent. Ooh. But just the, the, the uh, it was a beautiful night, the stars to guide us. And it was nice and it was just a, a lovely thing to do, especially in honor of uh, Ben Nichols, who served us for so long and scouting for so long. What a great event. So yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. So it was really special and not everybody gets to do that in the middle <laughs> of the town forest at night. So, <laughs> so it was really good, so sure. a lot awesome. of fun. So, um, and then, um, uh, I probably got to check my notes here because I don't want to miss anything. Oh, actually, this Saturday, this is a big, a big thing. We have an annual dinner, and we call it an alumni dinner, but it's current scouts and scouters and alumni scouts and scouters. So it's really great because once you're a scout, you're always a scout or a scouter, which is an adult member, and uh, and we invite um, the alumni to come. We have a, a dinner, and this will be like our our hundredth 
you know, uh, for our 100th anniversary dinner. And uh, so we have a lot of alumni coming, but I did want to mention that if, if anybody's watching the show, if they could go to our Facebook page, and uh, I'm not sure if we can bring it up on, on uh, TV here, but it's uh, www.facebook.com forward slash Reading Troop 702. So if anybody's watching who's an alumni who would like to come, they can go to the Facebook page, get more information about the dinner. There's contact information, and you know, uh, ideally reserve, you know, reserve a ticket ahead of time so we have enough food. But we always have enough food. <laughs> We're scouts. We eat a lot. So, <laughs> so uh, but we'd love to see more alumni come, and it, it'll just be a, it'll be a fun night. So with chicken parmesan is on the menu. So, awesome. um, so, so that's this Saturday, uh, May 16th, six o'clock, and then the following weekend is Memorial Day, which is May 25th, and. Uh, and we are, we're going to be inviting everybody to um, scouts and alumni, scouts and scouters to march with us in the Memorial Day Parade and up to Laurel Hill Cemetery. And one of our scouts will be reading the Gettysburg Address, which is, is very exciting. And, uh, and then afterward, after the observance is done at uh, Laurel Hill, we're going to go to, we invite Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts, Girl Scouts, uh, anybody involved with scouting in town to join us in Higgins Hall downstairs at Old South for um, a, a recognition ceremony for our hundredth. So um, just in case you can't come to the dinner, come on over on Memorial Day to the recognition ceremony, a brief ceremony, refreshments after, and just time for conversation and get everybody getting reconnected, which will be a, a really nice time. It'll be a lot of fun. So, great. Yeah, That's great. Yeah, yeah. So you, you brought a, a few things along yeah, with you no, here, so why don't you talk a little, a little bit about what you have. Yeah, I, uh, thank you. Um, well, we were thinking about how do we commemorate the 100th, and, and, uh, but I wanted to, to this was uh, something for, this, was, this is a neckerchief for the, um, this was done for the 75th in 1990 by a scout at the time, Alex Zversky. And so this is a commemorative neckerchief that was done, and that's the program from that time. And, um, and this is in the boys wore this for a long time. And then later that was replaced by in the neckerchief I have on right now, which is this black and gold neckerchief with Old South Church right here. And since 1915, and actually has says Troop 702, but the clock is set to 702. <laughs> so, <laughs> Clever. <laughs> so, um, and so we thought, well, we'll do a commemorative neckerchief. But we really love this one. We can't. We can't. We decided we couldn't improve upon it. Uh, Scout Michael Iapika did this at the time for the 90th, and this was introduced when they celebrated in 2006. So we decided we can't part with that. We really love it. So uh, we did a few things because uh, a lot of scouts and scouters like to, there's a hiking stick medallion that celebrates the 100th and marks that. So a lot of people have that on their hiking sticks, different places they go. We have a, a loop patch that I'm also wearing that for the celebrates the 100th. And we also have a new unit patch, which is our, our um, which goes on the left shoulder. So normally we just have the number 702, but it says since 1915 also has our town on it. So, so these are the different things. We're keeping this lovely neckerchief, but we've added these things for um, our scouts and our alumni scouters and current scouts and scouters. So, uh, so those are the, those are those few things. But um, one of the things that we also did, um, I'm just gonna grab it right here, and on each in 1965. Um, Benjamin Nichols wrote a history of Troop 702, and which was used to be Troop 2. We became 702 in 1959. A couple of councils merged and we became uh, Troop 702. They renumbered us. And we had um, a history he wrote at the time that was adapted for the 75th anniversary in um, in 1990, it was also adapted again uh, for the 90th in 2006. And, uh, and it's a project I did for an adult uh, Boy Scouts of America training. I decided to revise it yet again. And once I said that, boy, all this information started coming. <laughs> but we, have, we also have for our Scouts and Scouters this uh, pictorial history of Troop 702. It was a 30-page pictorial history. And the, um, it's actually abridged because <laughs> we wanted to have it ready for the dinner. And we'll be having a, an expanded version coming out in late 2016 because we have a lot more pictures that have come to, to light that have surfaced over um, this past year of research and things that I think most people have either never seen or saw years ago and have disappeared and now have resurfaced. So we've done our best to put them all in this history and we'll have even more in about a year and a half as we do continue our research. So this is pretty exciting because it That's really great. does bring, uh, it'll 
I'm hoping we'll have folks from 20, 30, 40 years ago saying, oh, wow, that's cool. I forgot all about that. Yeah, right. you yeah. Know, it brings it back, brings a lot of memories back. So, so we have a, 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 it's all a very exciting, it's a very exciting time for, for us. We have a lot going on. So, um, so I'm like talking a lot, but <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. uh, do you have any questions for, for me about more about the troop or anything? Um, is there anything else that you'd like to add? Um, current projects or, you know, new scouting? Uh, yeah. Projects? Oh, um, and, and well, actually, one of the things that's uh, just in in general that um, the troop has been a member of various councils over the years as things merged and condensed or expanded or what have you. And we were part of the Boston Minuteman Council since 1993, and we are patches. We have a shoulder patch that says that. And the council was just merged with another council, so now we're going to be the Spirit of Adventure Council. So for any any scouts and scouters out there, um, that's the name of our, our, their, our council now moving forward. So we haven't got our new patches yet. We love patches. We <laughs> so, uh, but that but that was some exciting news. So everybody's wondering, what are they gonna, what's our new name gonna be? So. Uh, but with um, but for 702, we just have lots of projects going on. We're, we'll, you'll see us at various uh, doing various community service. We're at Friends and Family Day. We're at um, uh, the Fall Fair. We help set up the the, the tents and the boots there. Uh, we we've been at the. Um, the uh, Reading Educational Foundations Festival of Trees for the first time last year with mm -hmm. the trees. So, so we just try to do a lot of uh, community service and just serve the public as best we can. So, um, so that's that's kind of what we're doing. So, the, the short story, anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> right. So, um, but thank but thank you for this opportunity to appear here um, before Reading and uh, at organizational night, and uh, and we appreciate it. Thank sure. you so much so, for being with us. Thank you.